Okay, I'm gonna read one fragment and three poems. Um, my mother is a magical thinker. Magic, when framing lived experience, curses and blesses equally. Everything has a designated dream. Each memory, a vision with an accompanying shadow carefully drawn around upon later inspection. For example, my mother knows that my older sister let loose a dark entity. That's why she lies and hurts herself and others. It's a strange feeling to recall images of old dreams, but some are so vivid. The impression was created inside the mind, so it didn't have to travel very far to become a memory. Secrets and lies are totally different beasts, but they reinforce each other. If you lie underneath of it, you've created a secret. In the nerve meter, our toe infers that language is founded on lies. The illumination of thought is dimmed the moment language attempts to harness it. And our reality, which is curated by language, becomes landlocked on our tongues. Maybe my sister sensed this at a young age. She was always attracted to secrets, making them up where they didn't exist, finding them out, keeping them, sharing them. I had a dream that drew an accompanying shadow around her when I was in my early 20s. In this dream, my sister opened a portal. She did so on purpose, wanting to wield a power greater than she thought she possessed on her own. It worked, but she couldn't control it. Instead, it ruled her. In this dream, my sister let a demon loose. I couldn't see it or hear it, but every time a gust of wind blew, I felt it try to rip and pull at something inside of me, reminding me every time that it was free and hungry. In this dream, there were hundreds of families gathered to offer something to the demon. They had all lost children, so in order to pay homage, each brought an article of clothing to a field and tied it together in the shape of a giant owl. There were backpacks and jackets and scarves. All of the parents were crying, crying so loud it echoed across every moment of the dream. I tried, but I couldn't trap it either. I woke up like a strangled victim, heaving. Locating spirit. There is a chair in a room somewhere being dragged around like a good seance by the rope of a feral dog who can't smell its way out. Notes on touch. One, eyes have invisible hands that reach out and caress every surface. Wings are just feather covered hands. Hands are just naked wings. Seeing what's before you is just another form of flight. Two, I blink and flap my wings. I catch dust trailing off of objects, sketching the shapes that I can't see. Three, to look is molesting. Event time. Can you hear? <laughs> uh, they are screaming, climbing up from behind the rock Nails peeled, back and bleeding, some gods revealed in the difference of their stride. The story's old, so what's the trouble to love I without the eye? 